What's going on fellow YouTubers? This is Riverview Rider. Just got a delivery today for the new bikes. Um, don't have any lock or anything for them yet. I've been looking around at a lot of things, doing some due diligence, some shopping, what have you. So, because if I do, or when I do ride my bike and lock it up, you know, it's gonna be briefly. Um, I'm, I'm blessed to live in a very good neighborhood so i'm no fool you know it's not utopia things do get stolen but again if i run inside of a store or something real quick that's all it'll be for uh when i ride i tend to ride non-stop you know take my water take snacks or whatever and use the restroom obviously before i leave the house so i don't have to worry about anything until i get back home an hour or so later you know whenever that is but long story short this is the light lock uh there are some videos on this one i believe is an official video where a guy in new york had a uh over the top view from like a second floor video camera and showed a guy walk up to his bike which he had locked with the life lock around a pole looks like the guy pulled out a crowbar or something to that extent out of his backpack you know did the twist move and and was able to pop this this took place this video was posted i believe it beginning of 2016 so we're talking two and a half years going on three years. Um, there were some other videos. Couldn't really tell if it was a life lock or not. But, you know, they were saying, hey, it doesn't work, this and that. And again, these are what I consider on the alpha, maybe even beta versions of life lock, light lock, excuse me, when they first came out. So as of recently, with my research and the videos and things that I've looked at, they made some improvements. And there's been no new videos in the last two, two and a half years since those videos were posted back in 2016 about someone having their bike stolen. At least I didn't see any. I would be sure to add those video links into this one so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, Light Lock offers two different versions. They have a standard version, which is, I believe, a little bit thicker than this one. But again, it's shorter too. It's 29 inches. This is their wearable model. It comes in this nice lime green, a black, and then a black and white hair and bone design. Uh, I'm not sure if all of them are reflective. I know the green does have reflective properties for sure. The wearable line, which is this one, you can put it around your waist like a belt. Got Mr. GQ there posing. Excuse the shadow. I know the video's a little janky, but you have to deal with it. All right, so you can put it around your waist and rock it like a belt and go about your business. comes with three keys. This is 42 inches long. This is the large. They do have a medium and a small as well. So there's a suggested sizes for each one. Gives the weight. So this belt, this large belt is basically 3.2 pounds. I'm not gonna feel that around the waist. Look like all of them basically average three pounds, small, medium, or large. So the difference is the length. Now, the main reason why I went with the wearable, it, even, I am a large, so 34, 38, you know, yeah, I fall in that for waist size. But even if I didn't, if I was a small, I would still get the large, to be honest with you. Just because of the of the size it is and i believe the length you know i mean look it's six inches longer than the small three inches longer than the medium may not seem much but if you get yourself in the wrong spot to try and lock up your bike those three let alone those six inches can make a big difference all right so i chose large regardless um of it being my size so this is 42 inches 36 inches and 39 inches on those so even with the small being 36 inches, it is still seven inches longer than the non-wearable model. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Common sense prevails to maybe get the wearable for the extra length because the security features are the same on all of them as far as you know what they do, what they prevent, how they build them and everything else, all right? So again, you know, they're very lightweight. It's very flexible, bend around your waist. Three keys, they give you these reflective straps here. Excuse the dogs. 
So we have those reflective uh, straps. You put them around your waist. Well, apologies. So you can put them around your arms. I've seen in photos. And you can use them to put the light lock around, say your seat tube or your top tube or your bike can carry it that way. So you don't you know, have to wear it around your waist if you don't want to. They're nice enough to give you a bag, a little backpack you can rock. Um, if you carry a bag, obviously, you know, you can throw it in there too. Roll it up, pop it in there. It looks nice. It feels nice. Looking forward to uh, sporting this. I like the lime green. I could have got black. Yeah, uh, my bike, you know, that would have went with the color. But I like the how loud this is. For one, because it's on my bike. Whether I'm wearing it or attached to my bike, this is loud. It's reflective. And also it's loud if my bike is locked up. You know, people will be looking at it as something you notice. And if you walk by, you're like, dang, look at that lime green. Is that a lock? You know, so it's something people will notice even in public when your bike is locked up. To me, that's additional security because it's attracting attention. I'm trying to think anything goes. So this is one of two security systems that I have for my bike. The other one is being delivered as well. That is the Boomerang Cyclo Track, I believe it's called. It is a GPS tracker. Uh, just look at look up Boomerang, you know, for GPS bike uh, security. I think it's a Boomerang Cyclo Track. When I get it, I'll post a video on that too, so you guys can see it. Basically, it's a it's a GPS device, and you attach it on your bike where your water bottle cage would go, and you can still put your water bottle cage on top of that. You know, but again, I'm not even going to go into that. I'll shoot that video when that one comes. So excuse this one, you know, not as professional. I'm just more or less getting knowledge and things out there over time. Hopefully, you know, my settings and my backdrops would be something you guys would like. Never mind those over there. Maybe I'll show those two. Those are four uh, foldable tires. Those are... Man, what were those? Those are my 725s. Those are Swabby Pro One Evo is what they are. Got them from Chain Reaction. They had a major sale, Chain Reaction, in the UK. Uh, those are like, you know, 85, 80, 85 to $90 tires. And I got them for like, I don't know, $40, $41. So basically, you know, more than half off. Very, very good tires from the top of the line. And some extra network equipment don't mind that stuff <laughs> yeah i'm in it so we got a 2651 router uh 2960 router i mean switch excuse me 48 port switch in the middle and a cisco asa 5520 firewall anybody knowing about that kind of stuff all right this is riverview rider i'm out